As part of the Mistlands update, a whole new thing around fishing has been added to Valheim. And today we're going to take a look at everything we know so far. There are still some bugs and things that need to be worked out in the game, and I'll cover those as well. But for the most part, I am going to be able to show you guys how to get all the different types of new bait and new fish in the Valheim update. So let's jump right into it. So behind me here, I have all the different types of fish currently in Valheim, and there are 11 of them. Now, if you use the cheat commands to spawn fish in, you'll see that you are able to spawn in fish of different numbers. So one, two, three, all the way up to 12. Now when I type spawn fish 12, we see it appears on the floor in front of me and it's this wonderful little puffer fish right here. And this is the same for almost all of them. But when I do spawn fish number four like this, nothing actually happens. So this is one of the bugs and I've tried this in all different areas to make sure it wasn't because I'm kind of high up here and stuff like that. It's nothing to do with that. It just doesn't work in the game right now. So although there are 11 fish in the game, there could be a 12th one coming. It might just be a bug, but I still wanted to make this video to give you the current information and then I'll do an update in the future if it warrants it. So you see here the tuner, it says that I've got this tune stuck in my head so yeah sometimes i think these fish say things in the same way that the boss trophies when you hang them up they will also say things and that's kind of cool now talking about these fish let's have a look at the different ones that there are so you see here you have a perch a giant herring this is a pike then over here we've got the groper we have the trollfish, and this was the tuna that was talking earlier. And then we've got the anglerfish, which is personally my favorite one. And then we have magma fish, the northern salmon, and up here a coral cod, and then the puffer fish, which is my second favorite. Only because they look so different. And the anglerfish with his little light in front of him, I mean, that's pretty awesome, right? <laughs> so catching fish in Valheim is a little different now. We have to venture to different biomes and different types of water, and also use different types of bait. Now, in this chest over here, I have all the different types of baits. Let's organize this a little bit. And this is the first one we get right here, which is the fishing bait. Now, this one here cannot be crafted but has to be bought from the trader whereas all these other baits right here can be crafted in the cauldron and i'm going to go through the recipe with you guys so this on screen right now is everything that i've found out so far and as you can see you've got all the different recipes with the different baits here along with the different fish that they can catch however i want to make it very clear this is not a 100 definitive list of exactly where you catch fish or where you use certain bait or what bait can catch exactly what fish what this is is what i've currently tested and tried and know to be true 100 but i haven't yet been able to try every single type of bait on every single type of fish in every single biome because it would just take a really really long time and I really wanted to get this video out because a few people have asked for this info so I hope that this is helpful in terms of you know you're going to know different biomes to catch different fish and that sort of thing and this will definitely work to get you through the progression of the new fish in Valheim but you might at times be able to catch different fish with some of this bait so I've talked about this information a little bit it's been on screen for a while and you guys can just pause it and do a screenshot or something if you want to take this information for yourselves but that's everything I've currently found out in the game and do let me know in the comments if there's something important that I've missed. Now something interesting when it comes to the different baits and biomes is again in cheat mode if I want to spawn in the bait you'll see here I have different options. So the first one is fishing bait we're not going to worry about that that's just the one we buy from Haldor but if I just press tab and go through here they're actually listed by their biome. So as you can see we have ashlands and we have cave and we have deep north and stuff like that. Now when I say cave by the way in the frost caves that you can find in the mountain biomes very rarely but occasionally you can find these caves that will have giant lakes in them and now in these giant lakes that are in these caves you can find fish. Now this is super, super rare, so don't expect to find it very often, but it's a real treat if you do find it, so definitely earmark the location on your maps and look after it, because it's a pretty cool place to go and fish. But as you can see from this spreadsheet right here, if I spawn in the different baits in game, the ashlands translate to the hot bait, if I spawn in cave it's cold bait, the deep north is frosty bait, and so on and so forth. So I think it's clear that there is a relationship between the biome and the bait, and that's certainly how the developers see it, and maybe occasionally you can get fish that go to certain biomes that they're not found as commonly in, and that kind of thing. But if you use this table, in conjunction with the previous one, then you're probably off to a pretty good start as to where the certain types of fish are going to spawn and the type of bait you need in that biome in order to catch them. So again, you can take a screenshot of this if you like, hopefully something kind of helpful there if you guys are really into your fishing. So I'm in the cauldron here and these are the different types of bait and their recipe and how you unlock each of these baits was on the previous screen where I you know, put that sort of spreadsheet up. But as you can see for each one of these baits, you do only need the cauldron to be at level one. So all that means is as soon as you have a cauldron above a fire, if you have the other ingredients that they require, you can make each of these different types of baits. And of course, if you need to buy more of the original bait that you start the game with, then you can go back to Haldor anytime to buy that. And it has no unlock in the first place. So you can get that as soon as you join the game, as soon as you find Haldor and have the money, you can buy that. Now to get started with your fishing, you will need a fishing rod and of course some fishing bait. And all that can be gained from Haldor as we see here. So a fishing rod is 350 and 50 of the first type of bait is 10. So 360 coins are required to get you started with your fishing journey. Now, if you like a video that shows you exactly how to find Haldor instantly in your world, I'm going to put 
put a link in the video description to a video that I made about this. So if I go ahead and press tab and go to skills, you see there is a new fishing skill in the game. Now I created a new character for today's video, which is why I only have a few skills here and they're mostly on zero. So as it says here, as we level up the skill, then the stamina drain and full speed when fishing are improved. So we require less stamina to do fishing and we also fish faster when we level up this skill. But this skill level does not have anything to do with the type of fish you can catch. So we're just a level zero or level one fishing skill in the game. You can catch any fish in the game. So when you're fishing, you may be out with a variety of bait. And what you want to do is just right click the type of bait that you want to use. So I'm just going to use the normal fishing bait here right now. And you can see that around here, we can't currently see any fish. But if I go ahead and cast off, then some should appear. Now, I will say I haven't found that this works every single time, but it does seem to work at least maybe three quarters of the time, where even when you can't see fish, once you cast off with the bait on your rod, they do seem to be attracted to it and appear out of nowhere. I will warn you guys that fishing in general in Valheim does require a fair bit of patience, especially if your goal is to catch several of all the different types of fish, as this is going to require a lot of travel and a lot of time. That being said, there is something therapeutic about it. It's kind of nice and relaxing, or at least in my experience it is, and I'd love to know what you guys think of fishing in Valheim. Do let me know in the comments. So I've probably been stood here about 30 seconds and nothing has come, uh, because that's just what happens when you make videos. <laughs> but I do want to try something else out here. So if I go ahead and switch now to this one here, this is the heavy fishing bait, and it's supposed to lure fish from the bottom of the ocean. So let's see if this one works. Okay, so the heavy fishing bait's been out for about 20 seconds, and you can see that we do have a fish now that's come and just started swimming around it, even though there were none when we started casting it. So I do believe this can work. I, I don't think it's 100%, but it does seem to work sometimes. Now, probably still the best method if you want to be more successful and more efficient is to see fish in the water before you cast off. That being said, I do think this is something you can try out, and uh, do let me know down in the comments whether you found this has worked for you or not. So when you want to go fishing, you just want to run along next to the ocean and try and keep your eye out for fish. But obviously, using the chart that I put on screen earlier, you'll know what biome to be running around in and what type of bait you want to use. So I want to have that equipped. So I've got basically this fishing rod here is equipped with the normal fishing bait because we're just in the meadows biome. And then as soon as I see the fish, all I have to do is press R and I'm ready to go. On top of that, I've eaten three high stamina foods because you will need stamina to draw the fish in. Now, you don't necessarily need three like top tier like I've got right here, but it's definitely stamina is something you're going to need a lot of when fishing. Okay, so I can see some shadows of fish there. It might be a little difficult to see on screen, but I'm just going to go ahead and chuck the rod out. When you're in game, they're not too difficult to see. And what I can do then is start to bring the rod in a bit to get it a bit closer. I'm just sort of waiting for it to sort of bob up and down. There we go. So it's hooked. There we go. We hold down right click as soon as we see that bobbing up and down. So at this stage, you want to hold down right click with your finger hovering over the E key because that's how we're going to pick this fish up once it gets close enough. So there it is. We keep spamming E and boom, there we go. We picked up a pike. And so there we go. We have a pike now in our inventory and that's how we do it. And you see that it used up a fair bit of our stamina. So that's why we need that. Now you see there's a little number next to the pike here. And if we hover over it, it does say quality and that's quality of one. So you can actually get different quality of these fish now. So what I've done now is managed to catch a level two pike, as you can see here. So it's now got a quality of two and you see it does not stack with the level one pike. So if I take my fish to the cauldron, one thing we can do with them is make raw fish. And you'll see here, we can make it from all these different types. So I've got just as an example, a pike, pupper fish, an angler, and also a northern salmon. Now on the actual cauldron itself, you'll see here at cycles through, it actually tells you this. You can make raw fish out of any of these things. And so from four of the fish there, four different types, we've got four of this raw fish. And I'll come on to what we can do with that in just a second. But first I want to show you guys this. So this is the different quality of fish here. We have a pike and it's at level two. So now if I go to the cauldron just here and we want to craft a raw fish and hit craft. Now you see there we went from four raw fish up to eight raw fish. That is huge. Just by having a level two a fish that we caught there, it actually gave us four fish in one go. So that's what the different levels of fish mean. And that's why it's great if you get yourself a catch there of a fish that is above the level one. Now, if we come to some cooking stations here, you'll see that we can add our raw fish onto this cooking station here. Just the normal wooden one is fine. If we put it on this one up here, it will still work, however. So yeah, you can use either of them basically and get yourself some cooked fish. So in terms of the cooked fish, you'll see it does give a health of 45 and a stamina of 15, making it a pretty decent health food, especially earlier on in the game. On top of that, the cooked fish can be used in other recipes such as the fish wraps or the new Mistlands recipe, which is the fish and bread. Now, when you're fishing in different biomes, especially, it is very important to keep an eye on what's going on behind you. So if I'm in the plains here, just fishing away, obviously a Devskito could sneak up behind me or a lox or a load of fueling. So definitely keep an eye on that. And you may even want to make little protected fishing areas, depending on how much fishing you intend to do. This is probably something most of you would have thought of, but if you are new to Valheim or just to help jog your memory, I definitely thought it was worth a mention. Now, just to answer a question that I'm sure some people would have, can you fish from a boat? The answer is yes. And I'm going to show you right now. So here we go. We've hooked our fish and we are just going to hold down right click the same way we would do if we're on land and we got the E button ready to sp there we go we got it we pressed it down and we picked it up so we have two of these level two pikes whereas we just had the one before also you can fish from the little wharfs that you'll see here in the 
mist lands by. I'm just going to go ahead and just chuck our rod out there, see if we can catch anything. And this can actually be a good strategy in mist lands. The reason being is all the Dwerger that are around you. So if you get some Seekers that are coming and trying to kill you, the Dwerger will actually attack them. So they'll give you a little bit of defense, basically, in case you keep your back turned for a little bit too long. And on top of that, let's be honest, it is pretty awesome to fish off these new Dwerger wharfs that we find in the different mist lands biomes. So the dad jokes are, of course, coming, but I really hope today's video had you hooked. And if it did, then please do consider liking and subscribing for more, helping me to get to 100,000 subscribers. But for now, I just want to say thank you for watching, guys, and I look forward to catching you next time. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Fush. What did the fish say when it got horrendously bad news? Oh dear God. What do you call a fish with two legs? A toony fish. What do you call a fish with no legs? A fish. Why did the fish throw up? Because the seaweed. What do sea monsters eat for lunch? Fish and ships. How do you communicate with a fish? Drop it a line.